So a new year has started, and like any other new year, if you're a toy figure collector, you always know that new figure ways start to be distributed out in different locations and areas of toy collecting. And in this case, as you see here, I have the brand new Dragon Ball Z Super Dragon Star Action Figure Collection by Namco Bandai uh, from the six or five and a quarter inch scale figures that they have. And this is wave five and wave six. Now, the entire wave is a Build-A-Figure wave. And as you can see here, like in the traditional Dragon Ball Z Dragon Star packaging you see how you have the five character or the six characters that are available in the two waves together respectively and they have beautiful anime artwork style uh, from the actual anime itself i think particularly from the newer one which is the super dragon star one uh and they look absolutely astonishing now this big this wave is the build the figure wave four None other than Broly. Now, I have put myself down this rabbit hole. But before I get into more details and into the video with the figures itself, first and foremost, welcome. It's me, your boy, Hibop, your friendly neighborhood toy collector and video game enthusiast. So, welcome, guys. Uh, to another episode, obviously, of Toys in My Closet. And in this episode, as you can see here, I'm showcasing this brand new wave. Now, to get into the wave, I have to start by saying this really is the most weakest of all the Dragon Ball, Dragon Star, or Super Dragon Star waves that I feel have been released to this date. Because you're essentially getting four figures that are completely the same figure from the last waves that have came out waves three waves four and waves uh two i believe but the difference is the figures have either a different face gesture with different hair color but as far as the body as far as the accessories they're pretty much the same. The only two that are kind of distinctive and stand out will be Goku Ultra Instincts, Goku, and Future Trunks with the uh, ponytail short hair version. Uh, so let's get right into it. Here's the very first one. As you see, this is none other than Vegeta with his God Mode but with the black hair because there's the God Mode Super Saiyan and God Mode Regular. So this would be God Mode Regular. And as you see here, he's number one. Then there's number two, number three. Here's a picture of the other figures. In here. And as we place this down, here's a picture of the Build-A-Figure Super Saiyan Broly. Super Saiyan Broly. It looks very cool. And as you know, bubble blister in the front, like always. And in the side, it says Vegeta. Nothing too spectacular. Dragon Star series. And here we go. So, put it back here. We'll start off with Vegeta. And as you can see, here he goes. And he, he looks pretty cool, like the original, like the other one. Uh, the only difference this time around is he has the black hair. I believe the sculpt on the face is exactly the same as the God Mode Saiyan Mode. The only difference is here is yellow or tealish. And the gold on this area here was a lot more uh, vibrant. This is a little bit less 
uh, you know, uh, vibrant than the other one. It's a lot more toned down. And I have him here with his hands crossed, as you can see. And he is very nice. Don't get me wrong. He looks really good. But it's a figure that I essentially already own. It's a different color of, you know, of hair. And maybe the gesture in the face is a little bit toned down. So I don't feel like he's worth owning again. Uh, because of the fact that, you know, he looks too similar like the original already Super Saiyan God mode release. And he comes with a set of fist hands. And he also comes with a set of... Let's see. A set of... Open hand. With the gloves. That's all he comes with. And obviously the... Broly build a figure. So, next up, as you know, and as you see here... We'll go to the next figure. And in this figure, it will see... Here... We have really nice portrait. This is Super Saiyan Gohan, which is the son of Goku. And I have the Super Saiyan Go Gohan, which is essentially, again, here's number two, he's number two. Essentially the same figure, difference being he has black hair. And the skin tone might be the same. But he has the black hair. Uh, I think the blue may be a little off. And here's Super Saiyan. Gohan. As you can see. There we go. You can see the difference is. The color of his eyebrows. Which they are now yellow and his hair that is yellow sculpted really nicely and the articulations a lot stiffer and tighter which is very nice at the blue with the orange now this blue almost looks like a uh, blue purple very light you can't really see it in the camera but it is and the navy blue boots with the uh, you know lacing same articulation uh, I mean, the figure's nice again, but if you have the first first one, it all depends on if you have the one with the black hair, do you want the regular one? Or do you really need to have the one just with a different head sculpt? Me personally, like I said, I don't like the fact that it's basically the same figures, just with different head sculpts. And he also comes... It does fist, two fisted hands sets, and he also comes with two two and here we go two. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice. Why not? Why not? Why not? Here we go. Here we go. Two. Oh my lord. Two open grips. And then obviously the Broly part. So again, for being a set. And then you have to pay the equivalents of... See, these figures are about $22.99, which is $23 in GameStop. Uh, they usually, you'll find them maybe in a Target. Um, so, you might be lucky here for $19.99. Uh, so, if, even if you're getting for $20 a pop, it's $120. Plus the Build-A-Figure. The Build-A-Figure is really worth it. Because it is Broly, 
and he's the only Broly from this line. But in my case, I already own a Broly. Uh, so I got the figure eyes, and I like that his he's way bigger, uh, and I like the exaggeration of his height, so I kind of blend him in with these guys as my Broly, even though he is hollow, but he's more articulated and has better range. Um, so I said, well, I'm going to buy the whole set to sell, obviously, the Broly, because I don't need him. Um, but I did need the, you know, this, for example, is the next one. Is, uh, you know, dry, beautiful artwork again with the ripped up shirt and tethered. And obviously it is Ultra Instincts Goku. Uh, I guess that's just a higher form of power that Goku gets uh, when he's in Ultra Instinct mode. I don't know if that means he becomes stronger or what. But this is the first figure that has an actual, here we go, an actual body that is bare, chested, right, obviously. Bare chested, right? He has the metallic hair, which looks really nice. The metallic eyebrows. I like that he has the brace in blue by itself with his hands. And the skin tone looks very nice. It looks a lot like the quality of plastic from the SH Figure Arts. The ribbed tethered shirt. Pants, as you see there, really, really nice with the navy blue slippers. So I I needed to have him to be part of the collection. So I wasn't I didn't just want to buy the two and have only those two pieces of Broly and not be able to really get rid of them. This way I can have the whole thing and just you know if I want to sell them I sell them. That is the super. Ultra Instincts Goku. It looks really cool, and the quality on the on the articulation is heightened. It's definitely heightened, and it's definitely a lot like a lot thicker and and tighter. Uh, the friction is very very but very very good. And here he is his other sets of hands. He comes with an open hand sets of hands, along with the two grip hands. Uh, also with uh, with a piece of Broly that he came with as well. Um, have that here. Next we have here, which is number four. Here it is, really, really nice. And you turn it around, and this is Vegito. Now, the other one I have is same number, he's number four is I have Vegito in his Super Saiyan mode which he has teal hair and teal eyebrows and that's pretty much it this figure also is exactly the same as the Vegito I bought with the teal hair and here he is the difference is his hair is now black. You see? He has the cool little markings there of his eyebrows. The earrings in gold. The expression of an open mouth. He has this nice translucent blaster effect coming out of his hands. And that's pretty cool. And pretty much is the same thing from the boots, the clothing. His clothing is like a navy blue. His belt is like a baby blue. And then obviously the orange shirt on the inside. Really nicely done, really nicely sculpted. And the boots. Like I said, these figures, for those who can't really collect uh, SH Figure Arts, um, it's a good way to collect them because if you're a Dragon Ball fan they are obviously going to suit your needs 
and they are pretty nicely articulated and come with somewhat of accessories but definitely the build a figure is a plus and you don't feel like you're really um, being robbed from not really being able to collect you know your 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 characters fairy characters from this anime that are part of the SH figure arts uh, because they're very very pricey these figures are a lot more in range with price uh, as far as you know how th what they bring being uh, accurate to the characters and he comes obviously with two sets of hands here's one of the open ones and the reason why I have only one is because it goes to his right hand that I have the blaster currently and then he has these two fist grips See? with the white gloves as well or the look of white gloves oh, let's put that there next we have what should have been the best one out of the other the whole bunch or the whole batch is really nice the you know nice or you know uh, portrait and anime uh you know, portrait of him, his future trunks. And I like the other future trunks we got, but some of the colors supposedly were off. But I like this look better. And he is the coolest looking one by far. Here he goes. He is. But the problem is, and they did do some cool things, like if you have the sword here, you could actually take off this piece off the sheath that you couldn't do in the other one to give you the illusion that he has a sword in his hand. I could leave it on because it gives him the illusion that he has two swords instead of one. His face sculpt really looks... His face sculpt really looks incredible and so does his hair. The detail is phenomenal. Lots of nice detail. Is the clothing he has on, you know, the color, the greens, black pants, even the purple boots, as you see there, really, really nice, and then obviously comes with the open hand and then the sword. He looks really good. He looks really good. Uh, but the problem is his head is too down. I try to push it back and there's no... The back part of his hair does not allow it because of the sculpt here on the hoodie or of the shirt is too tight. So in order for you to get him to make it look like he's looking forward like this for example right like this you have to kind of move his waist back just so you can get that illusion that he's looking forward as you can see um so that's a big bummer for me because I really wish they need to really uh, if they want these figures to to be able to compete more you know Bandai I'm speaking about to compete more in the likes of Marvel Legends uh, because they are priced the same okay uh, more on this you know on the vein of a Marvel Legend or or a Star Wars Black Series, they're gonna have to fix some of the joints, like the ankle pivot, give it more rocker and pivot, or a ro or or a waist, uh, I mean an ab crunch uh, articulation to go and complement the waist swivel, and definitely uh, at least double ball, double jointed, double ball jointed um, 
uh, head pegs so that you can have better range tilts and back and forth and slants uh, with the head. Uh, because remember these are also smaller than Marvel Legends and you know obviously uh, uh, you know uh, Star Wars Blacks so that's another flaw so now what I have here is he has uh, two sets of that he comes of open grips he has one in the hand right now that's one set he comes he comes with four sets and he comes with two a set of two 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 closed fists. That's the second set. And then he comes with the set of two hands that are kind of holding position so that you can put the sword on either side, and that's pretty much what it. And with the pick, with the pick, with the piece of Broly. <clears throat> so the last figure on this way, on this actual series and wave, is a very. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be very popular. It's a, you know very nice, very nice, you know portrait of the animation or cell of the animation, if you will, it is none other than. Goku Black, which for what I heard, I believe, I could be wrong, is he's a fusion of Vegeta and Goku in one. And his figure, again, it's just like the Rose Goku Black figure. The only difference is, is here we go, is his face expression and the fact that the fact that he has black black hair as opposed to that pinky rose you know hair that he has on the other figure very nice with the green earring and he has these blast effect that's like a pinkish purplish with a little weathering of white and you know his suit it looks like he has a black turtleneck his black undershirt reddish belt with the gray overall on top same thing and all white boots with with a hint of I don't know what that is it looks like some type of paint marking and white very very nice Nice figure, don't get me wrong, but worth the purchase, I'm not really sure. Especially if you own the rose coat, pink haired, you know, Goku. Uh, I think black Goku, rather. I think that's a strong, solid figure and better. And I reviewed those figures on my channel, so you guys are more than welcome to check it out on another episode of Toys in My Closet earlier on. If you want to see them, uh, but here he is. The black is really nice because it's got matte finish and stuff. But again, I don't think it warrants the purchase of him again. If you already have the uh, rose black Goku, ah, uh, so Let's push this over a little bit like so. So he comes with a set of open hands like everyone else and then he also comes with a set of two fisted palms of course you know the one on the right it has the ring the infamous ring that he has uh, and then obviously a piece for Broly so Pretty much, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the set and the wave. I really only like the Ultra Instincts and the trunks, future trunks with the short hair. Everybody else, for me, it feels like just shovelware, if, if you will, if you were talking in video game terms. Uh, because I don't think it warrants the purchase 
just to have a different color set of hairs for him, 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 and him. And yet, the, and everything else is pretty much almost 100% the same. Um, now, if you never got the figures, and absolutely, uh, then I think it's worth a shot. Get them, enjoy them, it's fine. If you're a completist, obviously, that's one of my problems. That I like to be a completist with most things that I collect. It's going to give you the urge to want to get them. But I think I really am going to probably get rid of these two here and the Goku Black and just and, oh, and the Vegito. And just keep the Goku Black, the, Go, uh, the Future Trunks, and the Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, because I don't feel the need to have all of them just with different colors. So, before we end it, let's show you. The build a figure really fast. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, the the star, if you will, of this series and wave, and probably for a lot of you it would be uh, worth the reasoning for owning it. Here it is. Here is Broly in all of his glory. And he does look really nice, uh, don't get me wrong. He has nice range of articulation down here on uh, his foot, on his legs. He even has the ability to bring it up and down his legs, uh, like so. Uh, I'm going to turn this here in one second, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Like so. Back again. There goes his, his face. Looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. Comes with the, with, you know, with his uh, necklace. He has the waist swivel. Very nicely sculpted chest. His arms go down and up. Very big, he's very girthy. He comes with the nice open hands as well. And he has an interchangeable set of hands as well, ladies and gentlemen. Um, here's the other side as well. Um, move it up and down. The skirt area. Nice soft goods, really nice. Doesn't pop out, really, really, really nice the detail. His back looks insane, insanely muscular, his hair sculpt looks great, the color is nice, his, uh, you know, uh, arm, uh, what do you call it, forearm race with the medallion in purple, looks really great, and, uh, you know, obviously the medallions on the boots with the red uh, straps and the white pants. And this is what he looks like standing next to the rest of the guys. To be honest, he, he just to give you an idea, he is pretty tall. Put him here next to Future Trunks. And there you go, an idea of how big he is. So, if Future Trunks, let's say, is maybe about five and a half inches he's probably got to be at least six and a half maybe seven inches and if you pull his legs down like so you can even make him taller for those of you that want him a little taller and that makes him even higher in height uh probably like seven and a half maybe uh inches not really sure, but let me see. I don't know if you guys can see it well there. There it is. You know, it's, it's a pretty nice, significant amount in size. Um, so, he comes in these sets of hands as well. I'll show you there. 
a lot bigger. <laughs> There you go. Closest. I don't know what the other one. The other one went somewhere around there. But yeah, he comes with two fisted hands that are closed. Um, so, you know, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The new Swave series of, you know, Super Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. Super Dragon Star. Um, Bandai Action Figure Line Collection. Uh, waves, uh, I believe, again, was 5 and 6. Uh, not a very strong wave, in my personal opinion. And I believe and feel strongly that many of you will probably feel the same that are avid toy collectors that are actually collecting these and like it. Uh, is Broly worth the purchase by itself? Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Uh, maybe for you, yeah. Maybe for others, no. I'm not sure. What I do know is for the super hardcore collectors, I'm pretty sure they probably won't have a problem with just owning this wave on pure fanboyism. Uh, because they're fanboys of the property and they are basically completists and they don't mind paying, you know, more money. To just, even if it's just a, a, a slight difference as a hair color or a face uh, gesture, right? I'm trying to get it to stand back there. Um, so, for the hardcore, I know this will probably sell on its own. You won't even have, you won't even have to tell them twice. Uh, because that's how a lot of us are with things that are, uh, you know, uh, that is our favorite. But with all honesty, being honest, even if you are a fan, you will honestly be able to admit and say that this is a very uh, weak uh, wave to start with. Um, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of repeated figures and characters you already have that just feel like, again, uh, shovelware. Like they're just there to fill it up and they use the uh, excuse of Broly as the bill of figure to get you to come in and buy it. And I think that's kind of messed up. It shouldn't be that way. Uh, Bandai should distribute these a lot better. They should at least put two new figures in here that we haven't gotten, like Kappa, or Juma, uh, you know, Piccolo, no, or something like that, to that extent. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. This has uh, been fun, and like, comment, share the video with anyone that you know is a fan. Uh, subscribe if you're new, or if you feel that you the first time here, and you feel that you like what I do, as far as my toy reviews, or anything gaming related. Uh, I'll see you soon with another uh, extension of my collection for the G.I. Joe Sigma 6, which I happened to uh, gather up uh, with a good deal recently. Uh, some main characters on the line that are going for a lot, and I got for an incredibly cheap price, thanks to a really good, kind seller on uh, eBay. So, once again, guys, thanks. I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next episode of Toys in My Closet. Bye-bye now.